Though we've always known it, steady changes over the last couple decades have cemented the important role public works plays in both protecting and restoring essential services during natural disasters of all sizes. To discuss how public works teams serve as first responders, I'm joined here by two magnificent individuals, uh, Joseph Kroll of Hollywood, Florida, Jeffrey Foote of Bedford, New Hampshire. Thank you so much to both of you for being here. Thanks for having us. For anyone who might not know, what are some of the key roles that public works plays for first responders or as first responders? When we're performing our work, correctly and doing our due diligence, um, people take for granted safe roads, bridges, uh, public transit, safe drinking water, et cetera, et cetera. When a disaster hits, you know, we're the, we're the ones that are out there uh, actually cleaning up and repairing and performing all of those activities. In the Northeast, uh, it's winter maintenance activity, snow removal. And uh, we are the first responder to ensure that police and fire can do their jobs to access people uh, when they need to. And are there any challenges, Joseph, in working with more traditional first responders like emergency services? Uh, yes, the challenges that, that the public works departments have is, is uh, getting the buy-in from the, you know, the, the fire police. When you're needed, they, they call you and, and open up the roads and open up you know, for them to do their job. You all have to work together so closely. Especially in Florida, in South Florida, where it's hurricane prone, and you know, uh, you can't, they can't get to do their job without going out first to, to open things up. So um, it's just, it's just uh, important that that's understood and recognized. And speaking of recognition, back to you on this question, is there more advancements on that realm, in that realm, and how has the role of public responders been, been recognized over time? For me, the short answer is education and performance. Uh, I think that over the last several years with the pandemic, uh, I'm not sure about the rest of the country, but we, we really outperformed when other agencies and services were shutting down or being suspended. Public Works really stepped up and, and performed and really augmented more so other services than they had in the past. Um, Joseph, how have you pushed uh, for this in your city council? And really, what's been the impact of this? That's a good question because we've just gotten our city commission, our city council to uh, approve a resolution um, recognizing uh, Public Works as first responders, uh, which allows us to put the Public Works logo on our vehicles and uh, now it's bringing to the attention of uh, the residents and everyone that Public Works is a first responder. So uh, we worked really hard to, to get, you know, commission to, to recognize because that's important. That's actually a really big advancement. Yes, and right now we're, we're working to, um, on the state recognizing as first responder as well. So it's stepping stones. Jeffrey, we've seen New Hampshire pass legislation to identify public works as first responders as well, kind of on a more state level. Um, why did this happen on a state level? And um, what's the impact been? Yeah, so I, I think it's for a number of different reasons. Again, um, I, I think in 2019, it was first introduced. It didn't gain traction uh, in the course of the last couple of years. Again, public works entities have performed just beyond expectation. And I think our legislator, our state legislator and our governor, you know, recognized that. It was overdue to become recognized and it was a nice bipartisan effort uh, by the state of New Hampshire to recognize uh, public works folks as first responders. Um, one of only two states in the nation that have that designation. I believe Mississippi is the other. Our, the accreditation symbol is, uh, this is the the Bedford's accreditation symbol that um, we've designed and augmented with, with the APWA. It seems like more public awareness needs to happen to inform people that that's actually the case. What more needs to happen to uh, become educated about this important role? The more that we're out there doing things and the more that other cities become uh, approved and recognized, I just think it, it'll slowly catch on. But it's, it's media, it's it's... Media. It's, you know, um, it's not just the blue and the red lights, but it's also the amber and white lights that are out there as well. And so when we turn your lights on in your vehicle for an emergency to be there, you're not really respected or recognized like it was if it was police or fire. 
lives are taken uh, every year as you're in the streets trying trying to do things as well. So it's just a public awareness. And let's talk about APWA a little bit to you, Jeffrey. How is uh, the APWA helping to move things along, starting with ideas like the use of uh, that first responder symbol? So if you see that symbol in one city or one town, you know that those folks are, you know, they're the same um, profession. You know, in a community such as ours, you know, everyone has that symbol. We have in our clothing, we have in our, our vehicles. And it, it, I think it's good for public relations. There's a lot of things that we do that people don't recognize. And I think this yeah. is a, a great way to help folks understand the, the enormity of what Public Works does. And going back to the social media component, what we've done since we've got accredited is we've um, expanded our social media platform. Yes. We keep them updated on projects and and all you know everything that Public Works does. So. I was just going to add that that the symbol the symbol actually brings awareness because we get calls you know when they see it on the back of the trucks. Yeah. Oh, we didn't know you were a first responder, or we didn't understand, and we explain. People from the public will yes. call and ask. Oh yeah, because they start seeing it on the trucks, the re in the parks. You know, everything everything that you do, you know, we advertise the first responder. And they can call you just the same. And just say, hey, we didn't know that. Or, what, you know, what is the first responder for Public Works? Or what is it you do, you know? All right. Well, I'm glad we get to talk about it here. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. We do, too. Thank yeah, you. Thank appreciate you. it. Have a great day.